Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to set up a new company database using Sage 50 Accounting's New Company Setup Wizard. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to use the New Company Setup Wizard to set up basic information about your company. You will also learn how to define an initial business type and general ledger chart of accounts, set up posting and accounting method information, and also set up beginning fiscal year and accounting period information. To begin setting up a new company, let's start Sage 50 Accounting. If Sage 50 automatically loads a company, select File from the menu bar and then close the company. The program will then load the Open an Existing Company, Create a New Company Start page. On this Start page, we'll click Create a New Company to start the New Company Setup Wizard. The New Company Setup Wizard walks you through all of the important settings that are required to create a new company in Sage 50 Accounting. The bulleted list of information on the Welcome page of the Wizard lists all of the company information that you will want to have available during the setup process. Note that although some of these selections can be changed after the new company setup process is complete, other settings listed here are set in stone, so it is recommended that you have all of the required information available when walking through this wizard. Let's click Next to begin the new company setup process. On the Company Information page, you can enter basic company information about your company, such as your business name and address. This information will be printed in the From and To sections of various forms, such as sales orders and purchase orders. You can also enter the tax ID numbers used to identify your company when federal and state tax forms are printed. Only the company name is required on this screen. The rest of the information can be added after the new company setup process is complete. The Business Type dropdown identifies your company's business type. The business type selected will also determine the names and types of equity accounts that will be added to the initial general ledger chart of accounts. Let's click Next. There are many different ways to create your company. The selection made here will determine what options are provided to you as you walk through the rest of the wizard. During this learning topic, we will select the Use a Sample Business Type option to copy basic setup information from a sample business type including a predefined general ledger chart of accounts. Other options available include copying settings from an existing Sage 50 company and converting a company from another accounting program. Note that this method should not be used when converting QuickBooks to Sage 50 accounting. A much simpler, quicker method for converting QuickBooks data is available on the Sage 50 Start page. If you have a custom chart of accounts that you would like to use in your new Sage 50 company, you can select the Build Your Own Chart of Accounts option. And if you are using Sage 50 Premium Accounting and higher, you will have the option to create a special type of Sage 50 company that consolidates the chart of accounts of existing companies so that you can create consolidated financial statements. More information about each of these options is available by clicking the Help button at the bottom of the page let's leave the Use a Sample Business Type option selected and click Next. On the next page of the wizard, you can select a business type that most closely matches your company from the list. You can then view the chart of accounts predefined for that business type. These accounts will make up the initial list of general ledger accounts that are used to record the financial events in your business and will include accounts such as asset, liability, income, expense and cost of sales, and equity accounts. The simplified business types are based on general industry types such as construction, distribution, retail, and so on. Each one offers a basic chart of four-digit general ledger accounts to start with. The detailed sample business type provides a more comprehensive chart of accounts that is tailored for a specific business. For example, if your business is an automobile repair shop, you can select the available sample business type on the left pane. To the right, you can then view the sample chart of accounts tailored for the auto repair industry business type. If you do not see a sample business type that does not perfectly match your company, select one that is a close fit. You can always modify it to more closely match your business needs after the new company setup wizard is complete. We'll leave our current business type selected and then click Next. 
Next, you are asked to select the accounting method that you plan to use for your company. If you select accrual basis, Sage 50 Accounting will record purchases and sales in the general ledger on the day that a sales or purchase invoice is created, regardless of whether the invoice has been paid. Selecting cash basis tells Sage 50 Accounting to record income and expenses only when cash is received by your company or a payment is sent to a vendor. Make sure that you understand the implications of the selection you make here. Consult with your accountant if you are unsure. This selection cannot be easily changed once the wizard is complete. We'll leave it set to accrual basis and click Next. Now you will choose whether you want Sage 50 to automatically transfer transactions from your journals to your general ledger in real time, or if you want Sage 50 to leave the transactions in your journals so that you can manually post them at a specific time. If you are using Sage 50 Quantum Accounting, you will also have the option to use Smart Posting to manage the posting of your journals to your general ledger. Smart Posting can be seen as a hybrid of real-time posting and batch posting and improves the overall performance of your company database. The posting method can be changed at any time in the company information area of Sage 50. Now let's take a look at setting up accounting periods. Accounting periods are units of time that divide your fiscal year for reporting purposes. In Sage 50 Accounting, you can define up to 13 accounting periods per fiscal year. And because you can have two fiscal years open in Sage 50 at one time, you can have up to 26 accounting periods available to you at any given time. Most companies simply have 12 monthly accounting periods in their fiscal year. If this period structure fits your business, select the 12 monthly accounting periods per year option. However, if your business is based on another period structure, select the accounting periods do not match calendar months option. Sage 50 will then provide a page where you can modify your fiscal year periods just the way you want them. You can tell Sage 50 Accounting how many periods make up your fiscal year and on what day your fiscal year starts. You can also modify the end date of each period if necessary. Our sample company's fiscal year structure is not complicated. It will use the 12 months of the year to define its fiscal periods. So let's click the back button, select the first option, and then click Next. We now need to tell Sage 50 what the first month of our company's fiscal year is. As mentioned earlier, you can have up to two fiscal years open in Sage 50 Accounting. In our example, this will equate to 24 open periods numbered from 1 to 24. Make sure that you enter the correct starting date. If entered incorrectly, you will need to walk through the wizard again. We will select January of 2012 as our beginning fiscal year. Fiscal year 2012 will then occupy the first 12 periods created by the wizard, 1 through 12, and fiscal year 2013 will make up the next 12 periods, 13 through 24. Let's click Next. We have reached the end of the wizard. Let's click Finish and Sage 50 Accounting will take care of the rest by creating your company database and configuring your chart of accounts and basic default information. The initial new company setup process is complete. This company is now ready for you to begin entering your beginning records and transactions. Now that the new company setup is complete, you can use the optional Sage 50 setup guide to set up your company further. Each of the available links provides you with a logical step-by-step -step wizard to help you quickly add records and customize default settings for each major area of Sage 50 Accounting. If you would rather manually add your initial business records into Sage 50 Accounting, simply close the setup guide to access the Sage 50 desktop. So as you have seen, the new company setup wizard is easy to use and will help you set up your new Sage 50 company in no time. You have successfully completed this anytime learning topic. You have learned how to set up basic information about your company, define your initial general ledger chart of accounts, set up posting and accounting method information, and set up beginning fiscal year and accounting period information. Thank you for taking this anytime learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.